Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. I'd like to introduce you to a new website. Uh, it's educational website for advanced level mathematics in high school called Unizor, unizor.com. Um, it has two different aspects. One is the contents and another is uh, the functionality. As far as the contents is concerned, um, I was trying to put um, as, as, as rigorous and as uh, deep um, uh, presentation as possible for, for every course presented on this particular website. Uh, so this is the front page, and whenever anybody go to unizor.com, this is what's presented. And uh, uh, the user is free to choose anything on the left uh, any course, let's say algebra, for instance, and then the pres uh, it, he's presented with a bunch of topics uh, for algebra, and uh, let's say he's choosing exponential functions, and then for this particular topic, um, he's presented with a certain number of lectures. Some of them are uh, theoretical in character, uh, which contain the lecture itself, video presentation, and the notes. And uh, some other are problem solving, where problems are presented in the notes and are explained and solved basically in the lecture itself. Um, the purpose of this uh, more rigorous and more problem oriented course is to develop um, uh, creativity and deep understanding of what actually mathematics is about, um, to develop uh, mind and intelligence and logical thinking rather than present certain number of um, uh, properties or, or formulas which students have to just memorize and uh, probably forget after the, uh, after the exams. So the idea is that this more um, involved and deeper uh, um, studying of these topics would actually uh, be very beneficial for development of the young mind. Now, as far as the functionality is concerned, there are three types of users. One is students, and this is basically a registered student who is registered under a supervision of somebody. This is the second category of user. This somebody can be a parent or a supervisor who is supposed to enroll this particular student into certain courses. So I just presented one particular screen for one particular user, and these are uh, courses which he is in, enrolled in by his parent or supervisor, and for each course, this particular student can actually do exactly the same thing as uh, uh, any user from the front page, which means study, and he is presented with the same lectures and the same problems. At the same time, um, there is a way to go through exams for each topic where the exams actually uh, exist. For instance, he goes to this exam and he starts and he is presented with a bunch of questions with multiple choice answers. Um, back to the main page, uh, as you see there is a score which is a score uh, this particular student uh, got from the exam which he took and it's uh, hierarchically accumulated. Uh, as a summary in the top. Now, the second category is parents or supervisors, and their purpose is, number one, to enroll the students, and that's they can do it from, from one particular main available educational material. They can drill down, drill down, and then enroll somebody in, in, in mathematics, for instance. You just choose which, which student you would like to enroll. Or, for those students which have already been involved and enrolled, basically, uh, the parent or a supervisor can check the report, and this is a report card basically for each particular topic what the score on the exam. Um, then, uh, after all the uh, exams are passed successfully, then uh, the supervisor can click the pass, and this particular course will go to a complete enrollment for this particular student. Finally, teachers who provide educational material they basically have control over the contents. Well, I'm personally one of those teachers, and in theory, under a proper authorization, and authorization is built into the system, anybody can contribute some information to this particular website. Well, that's, that's it about functionality. Thank you very much.